turn into football. You can't blame Nebraska if they're still celebrating that big win over Auburn yesterday. The Huskers put on a tough Tiger team on the ropes and put them away in the second half for good. Don't think for a second that the Huskers weren't hearing the whispers of the top 20 pollsters saying that Nebraska was right for another upset on the road against 17th rated Auburn to boot. You gotta believe that the Huskers had something to prove yesterday and they did it with plenty of firepower. The Huskers came into the game pretty banged up without the services of Roger Craig for one, but his backups filled in nicely. In fact, Doug Wilkening got the first score of the game, a 15-yarder that quieted the overflow crowd down in a hurry. It opened up real good. It was a trap play. Uh, it's designed to run against an aggressive defense, and uh, they are coming real hard on that play. It opened right up, and all I really had to do is just run with the ball. But the Tiger fans began to roar when Auburn drove for the tying touchdown. Randy Cadmill hitting two big completions to Ed West to the Husker seven-yard line, and that set up the diving four-yard touchdown by Bo Jackson. Brand new ball game, seven to seven after one quarter. Both defenses got stingy in the second period until the Huskers finally broke loose late in that quarter. Turner Gill winging it to Todd Brown, a beautiful throw and route. The 58-yarder gives Nebraska the 14-7 lead and very much changes the tide of this ball game. And we thought we could maybe run some type of route like that, a hook and go or a horn or whatever. And if we caught him in that right situation when we did, and they was in a man-to-man -man and he just outran him. It shouldn't have been because they was like, like third and 20 or something like that. He had, should have been back deep. but. And just one thing they'll do is the back half, and Todd got right behind him. And from there, it was all Nebraska. Mike Rozier, who rushed for 104 yards, scored twice in the second half on runs of 2 and 12 yards to up that score to 28 to 7, and the route was on. Well, the first half, it was a little tired. You know, it was kind of hot. You know, everybody was worrying about, can we adjust to this heat? You know, but um, we, was all, we came this far to win. You know, we didn't want to lose. So we all got together. Second half, we talked about it. Just we not did our job. The Husker Blackshirts didn't give up another point in the ball game. Alan Lyde picks off Campbell's pass here. Nebraska, in the meantime, is tacking on two more scores in the fourth quarter. A 41-yard jaunt by Mark Shaleen, and then a 13-yard run by Tim Broomgoff. Pretty nice job by the backups, huh? Huskers on their way to 504 total offensive yards, 342 of those coming on the ground. Nebraska very impressive in their convincing win against Auburn on the road, 41-7. The Huskers raising their record to three and one and hoping to climb in the polls. But more importantly, that win is a perfect way to set up the Big Eight season, which starts next week at Colorado.